All right, YouTube. So another video. Stem one of my one of my video locations seems to be right by this little electric power grid thing. I'm gonna. This one's gonna be a pretty quick one, but I wanted to at least share my thoughts. And I think the suburbs are dead. Um, now I'm not sure if I can. I can't speak on behalf of every suburb in my local area. That why well, I, I I can speak on the ones in my local area. Um, I do I do a lot of late night driving, and there's only one suburb that I see that has a busy nightlife and it's actually a very busy nightlife I will say and it's also a predominantly like I believe Korean and Vietnamese community um I am not I'm not that I'm I'm, I'm a whitey I'm a white boy but um but I actually think it's healthy to, I I enjoy when I go on late night drives and I pick that region I see, um, it's, it, I, you know, a lot of the, um, a lot of the signs for businesses will be written in, uh, like, I think Korean, um, like the doctors and dentists or, you know, whatever the, uh, even things like the, the local, like state farm agent is a, is a, like a Korean name. And then, the, then it'll have like his English, I think it has like his English name in parentheses and like smaller on the uh, little state farm house, you know how like, you know how like state farm always does like their agents are, are like in these like things that look like homes. So it makes you feel like you're at home when you're shopping, even though it's stupid, but whatever. But yeah, I do a lot of late night driving and you know, um, America has, uh, we are a melting pot of different nationalities, but we all seem to, uh, segregate whether it's through racist, government policies that still are in existence today to some degree or if it's just kind of a self-segregation you know because people seem to like to be around people that look exactly like them or something i don't know damn it this guy pulling Megan next to me oh fuck i always hate when people pull right next into me when i do these these uh conversations but i don't think he's pulling in okay cool Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, the suburbs, I, I do a couple of, you know, in my tri-county area, um, I do a couple of suburb driving, mostly. I don't like to do a lot of late-night drives inside the city because uh, there's, you know, just, const you know, just, it's busy, it's hectic, and, and I will say that um, if I was out with friends, I'd rather be in the city, but, um, but, if I'm just doing a late night drive, I like to actually go through suburbs. It's kind of more fun. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the, the, all of the suburbs in the metro area that I drive around, man, they are all, everyone's boarded up and closed up shop by 9 PM. Maybe, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, maybe on like a Friday, Saturday, you might see like a restaurant or bar that's open till maybe midnight, but more likely 11. You know, gone are the days of restaurants that stay open till 2 a.m. and have like last calls at 1.30. Those, those days are all long gone. Uh, every, every business and, and, you know, COVID was part of the part of the death of it. But even before COVID, I was I, I was noticing these changes. But. Now it seems like. It's just ramped up a lot the past two, three years or so. Yeah, sub the suburbs just feel dead. I'm I'm near a local. I I live kind of near a mall, and sometimes I go walking through that mall. Um, occasionally, if I'm working from home, I'll uh, go to the mall for the food court just for my lunch break. You know, because you know, I just want to get out of the house and uh, or the apartment, I should say, and find somewhere to eat. And uh, I like to just go through the mall, you know, reminisce. But man, the mall is hella, hella sad, dead as fuck. There is not many. There, I mean, I hate to say it, and it, you know, it's gonna sound maybe a little bit. 
I don't know. I, I, it's going to sound maybe a little bit unfair, but or maybe I don't know if sexist is the right word, but there's just not a lot of shops for men in the mall anymore. I mean, maybe if you like different types of hats, like baseball hats or whatever. There's a couple. Of, there's like a lids and and a uh, one of those other apparel stores. I remember, and you know, there's still a, a GameStop that has more Funko Pops than anything else. I miss the days of you know, like electronics boutique or software. I think there was one called Software Etc. or something. Even those stores. Now, granted, that was kind of the sign of the times where just there was more people were buying more physical media of games and stuff and online shopping wasn't as prominent. And if there's, you know, so there's that. I also miss bookstores. I don't know any mall that has a bookstore in my area anymore. All of them are like, I mean, the only stop, the only shops that are kind of male oriented at these places are, like I said, like a hat store, a game stop, which they're kind of boring now, or maybe like, you know, excuse me, I'm just tired, younger, younger, younger males, but younger girls like Legos too, but there is a Lego store. You know, I, 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 I mean, it just was hella, I mean, these malls are just so sad in the suburbs, the, the malls that are closer to the, the city perimeter kind of area, uh, seem to be doing okay, but, but yeah, it's just, I, I don't know any suburb other than that one that has a predominantly Korean community. And I do late night drives, and sometimes I do Saturday night late night drives. Sometimes I do Tuesday. You name it, I'll I've, I've done them. And uh, you know, I will say it is kind of nice to see, even on like the you know random Monday nights or Thursday nights or whatever, to see that that region. Like you know, there's there's restaurants at one a.m. that still have people, in or at least the parking lots are filled. Or, you know, or sometimes I'll see like. Um, you know, I'll see couples or like going out on a double date, you know, two guys and two girls or, you know, just a group of buddies or something like that. And I, I do think that, um, people need to be more, I don't know, interactive with the outside world. I mean, one of the, just one of the common things about all of my videos so far have been how much the internet is probably making you miserable. And it is making me miserable. That's why I haven't been using it as much. Now, I will say the past couple of weeks, I was, well, uh, you know, my most recent video, I believe I mentioned how I've been doing, I did a no internet week and I felt a lot better. I did use it a little bit more this week and I feel a little bit kind of bland and passed by in life, so to speak. I, um, you know, I don't really have, uh, you know, I mean, it's impossible to live a completely internet-free life at this point, but damn, you know, I just wish more people would limit themselves because I think that it would cause people to uh, maybe um, interact with the world more and enjoy themselves more and, you know, maybe it would cause me to meet people more, you know, maybe a group of buddies to hang out with, or maybe even a girl who wants to go out and on a date or something. But I just don't really see enough interaction. And, and again, maybe it's me being an early, very early thirties male in the suburbs and the, you know, that's not really a thing. I mean, you would think, you know, historically in the past 30, 31 would be enough for suburban life. But now with how um, how much things are changing and just stagnation of, of society in a lot of ways. I actually think that 3031 is pretty young, um, especially when you look at just how many, how older, like the, the, the country does seem to be aging pretty quickly. Um, that's not probably something to be super happy about, but nobody seems to care, I guess. Um, So yeah, uh, the suburbs just feel dead. Um, 
I mean, every single one, almost all of them, you know, by nine o'clock, everything's just closed. I'm in a parking lot here. Here's this like electric, uh, these green neon lights are, I think they're like electric car charging stations and there was a car charging while I was recording this, but I just drove away, but yeah, it just seems like, I don't know. Does anybody, any, I mean, nobody watches these videos, but, well, I mean, people do. I mean, I'm getting a handful of views. Like, one of them had, like, almost 100 views. I don't think that's me all the time, is it? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've watched my videos a few times, but not 100, Jesus. Maybe, like, 10. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, this, this, the suburbs, if anybody wants to comment, are your, are your suburbs dead? Because mine fucking are. Um, yeah. Anyway. Just some thoughts and I'm out.